force of 10,000 nuclear weapons. Only 10,000? Wow, how powerful are nuclear weapons in this movie? Hi, I'm Tyler Fultz. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you like this video, please give me a like down below, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you didn't like this video, please let me know what I can do better down in the comments. I'm always looking to improve. Today we're going to be looking at Armageddon, the classic blockbuster movie where an asteroid threatens Earth, and it's up to Bruce Willis and his all-star cast of space rig roughnecks to stop it. Let's see how big this asteroid is. What is this thing? It's an asteroid, sir. How big are we talking? Sir, our best estimate is 97.6 billion. It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. Y y yes, sir. Damn. Wow, that is huge. Wonder what they think is going to happen when it hits the Earth. It'll hit it land. It'll flash boil millions of gallons of seawater and slam into the ocean bedrock. Now, if it's a Pacific Ocean impact, which we think it will be, It'll create a tidal wave three miles high, travel at a thousand miles an hour, covering California and washing up in Denver. Japan's gone, Australia's wiped out, half the world's population will be incinerated by the heat blast, and the rest will freeze to death in the nuclear winter. Wow, that is an extinction level event. Um, that's about the level of the impact that the asteroid killed the dinosaurs, um, and that had a yield of about 10 to the 8th megatons, or about 10 to the 10th um, Hiroshima-sized nuclear weapons. Not 10,000 like they said in the intro. Only one thing, that asteroid was only 10 kilometers across. The length of Texas is about 1,300 kilometers. It would look a little bit more like... And here it is a bit later, engulfing the entire world. This clip was from the Discovery Channel, and this was a simulation using a 500 kilometer across asteroid, which is still less than half the length of the one from Armageddon. Now, energy released from impact is proportional to mass times velocity squared, and mass scales cubically with length. So the Armageddon asteroid's impact would be over 2 million times more powerful than the Dino Killer asteroid at 2 times 10 to the 14th power megatons. This is a global killer that not even bacteria would survive. Though, this wouldn't come anywhere close to actually destroying the Earth, whose gravitational binding energy is about 10 to the 16th megatons. This asteroid would be incredibly difficult to destroy with gravitational binding energy of 10 to the 12th megatons for the asteroid. And in Armageddon, they actually destroy it with a nuclear weapon. No nuclear weapon is anywhere close to being that powerful in real life. All the nuclear weapons in the world combined at its peak was about 23,000 megatons. It's actually hilarious that this nuke would have to be more powerful than how the movie thought, than how powerful the movie thought the initial asteroid impact would be. Also, it would likely not shatter into two perfect halves. Its mass would be scattered likely all heading towards Earth due to the gravity, so they wouldn't end up saving the day with this process. You would need to intercept the asteroid while it is still far away. Using a nuclear weapon while the asteroid is still in the asteroid belt or even further away is one plausible way of deflecting it, not actually destroying it, though. I do love this movie. It holds a special place in my heart but they do not do orders of magnitude or nuclear physics very well. Please let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.